I read a story today of the Queen of England and how she has met so many of the presidents of America. And at different times, there have been faux pas or mistakes because people don't always get it right to be in the presence of royalty. On one occasion, she took to the dance floor with one of the presidents, I can't remember which one it was, and at that moment, the band happened to start playing. This lady is a tramp. <laughs> Not a good thing to do when the Queen is just taken to the floor. I think she saw the funny side of it. But that's what we're talking about today. We're talking about the kingdom of God. And that tells us that there is a king. And that king needs to be respected. And when we pray, we are saying, Thy kingdom come. Not my kingdom come. A really, really big thing here. You see, this is God's world. And one thing I do know for absolute certainty is that I'm not God. And therefore, my ways will never achieve what God wants to achieve. God's kingdom is a place without pain and suffering, without sin, with hope and joy and love and celebration. To achieve that, I need to follow God's way. And if we look around our world, we'll see that the world is actually in a very, very bad place. Creation is groaning. We've just had the G7 summit. And we recognize that creation is telling us that it is time for us to stop following our way and maybe go back to God's way and honoring God as the king of this world. And so it's important when we pray, thy kingdom come, we're laying down our way, we're laying down our agenda and we're taking up the agenda of God to create a better world. And so we need to stop being on our own mission and start working out what it is to be on God's mission or under God's mission and start striving for a better world. When we pray, thy kingdom come, we are committing to helping that prayer become a reality. And so when we see something wrong, we become not just the prayer thy kingdom come, but the hands and feet that work to with, together for a better world, God's world where God is king. That's a deep thing to reflect on today. And as you go to the day and see brokenness, God did not bring that brokenness on the world. That's because this is the kingdom we have created. And it's time to lose that kingdom and give it back to our Lord and Savior in heaven. God bless and have a great day.